Hello guys. Now we shall move on to the next experiment where we optimize the design for rotating angular disc. Now we choose the same material as uh, steel whose material properties are as shown below. Here we try to uh, optimize the shape or we go for shape, shape optimization for the rotating angular disc. When we say about the rotating angular disc, we talk about the angular disc of this format. Now these are the angular discs with hole. We can also have uh, angular disc with without a hole or a solid angular disc. Now coming to the angular disc with hole, again we have different types like convergent disc, divergent disc. Convergent disc basically is a angular disc where you have a greater cross section area at the axis point and a smaller cross section area at the circumference point. It is the reverse of the uh, convergent thing which is divergent disc. We have smaller cross section at the axis point and bigger cross section at the circumference. Now for our analysis we shall take a uh, angular disc where we have a rectangular cross section. So when we create this angular, uh, how to create this angular disc for this? Uh, in FEM what we usually do is we try to model a rectangle and we try to revolute it across this axis. Now if we do the analysis over this rectangle it is sufficient enough so that the uh, results can be spread all over the angular disc. So here if you look at uh, this particular problem interestingly to create this I am supposed to create a rectangle which is offset from this axis. This rectangle has to be created with some offset from this axis and it has to be revoluted. This is one important point that you will have to take care in your mind when we uh, solve the problem in the analysis. Now we shall go for the answers directly. So for the given problem uh, in your uh, uh, manual it is uh, problem number 2. In this problem you are supposed to create, you are supposed to make the analysis for a uh, rotating angular disc with, with, the, with the hole and also you are supposed to create analysis for a solid angular disc. Now for the first thing we are going to make the analysis for a angular disc with hole. The preference that I am supposed to choose is structural say ok. Then I am supposed to choose the element type add element. I will be adding the element which is a solid element quad 42 say ok. Since we are dealing with a problem where the rectangle has to be revoluted to a cylinder we will be giving the freedom for the element to be axisymmetric or I will be changing the element behavior to be axisymmetric. So this is one important change that is element behavior kc has to be changed to axisymmetric say ok close. Now I am supposed to add the material properties. So material go for the material model structural linear elastic isotropic. So the Young's modulus for steel, I shall take it as 216 power 9 Newton per mm square. The Poisson ratio, I shall choose it as 0 0.3. Say OK. I shall also add the density for this 7800 kg per meter cube. Say OK. So now, so far I have added the material properties. Now I am supposed to model the element. To model the element, I will go for modeling. Modeling. So create areas rectangle by dimension. Now we are um, supposed to input the coordinates. So our usual uh, habit for by inputting the coordinates was I was trying to input the x1 coordinate to be 0, the y1 coordinate to be 0. So if I do x1 and y1 coordinate to be 0, this is the point that I would be ending up with. But now we want the rectangle to be offset from this y axis. Hence my x coordinate should not be 0, instead the x coordinate should be offset by the distance which is equal to the radius of the hole that I desire for. In the problem that has been given, the radius of the hole seems to be 0.05 mm, therefore the diameter is 0 0.1 meter sorry. So therefore I am supposed to offset the x1 coordinate by the amount 0 0.05 which is the radius of the hole. The x2 coordinate would be the width of the rectangle ultimately. So it goes with what is the value that has been given x2 uh, uh, the value has been given it as 0 0.15 0 0.15. Now y1 coordinate goes with 0 
that is y1 would always be at the ground itself y2 is it's been mentioned as 0 0.5 okay okay now you have been created a rectangle which has been offset from your y axis so this would uh, this has to be rotated revoluted to obtain a angular disc now i am supposed to mesh this rectangle so meshing can be done with uh, various type of techniques i will be going with the mesh tool and i will mesh the entire thing i am picking the entire thing i have mesh if i am not uh, satisfied or convinced with the mesh uh, uh, size i can anytime I refine this again by refining we have different options i will be using the smart size so mesh two calls create so your entire mesh After you uh, remesh things, I am supposed to refine things. So I will have to remesh uh, it into a smaller size. So after I mesh things, now you are supposed to apply load. So this is one important uh, change that you come across in the problems of angular disks so the first thing that you are supposed to do is you are supposed to confine the couple at the top surface you are supposed to arrest the uh, deflection at the bottom surface and then you are supposed to again arrest the deflection at ui at the bottom and then arrest the deflection at ux at the side because this is a uh, uh, angular disk which has been obtained there where you will have this been arrested uh, where the shaft fits in so this is left free whereas this no couple should be acting here here the displacement in y direction should be zero this is the usual condition that we have so how do we go with this the first you have to go for the coupling sequence so here you left it correct couple degrees of freedom say okay So you have to pick, you have to pick the top surface. Now if you select this, individual nodes would get selected. So I will be using the box. So to select a uh, uh, box, I will select the entire top surface. Now say OK. So here you should name this for your reference as one or something like that. And here you are supposed to confine your UY degree for the couple. This has to be confined. So say OK. So a couple in UY, UY has been confined on the top surface. Now we are supposed to confine the displacement at the bottom surface. So uh, I am supposed to apply load. So solution. We go for load. Define load. Apply structural displacement. So you are supposed to apply it on bottom surface. You say for on line, select this line, say OK. So here the degrees of freedom that you are supposed to constrain is U, Y. So like that, thank you. So this is to be confined with U, Y direction, whereas this has to be confined with U, S direction. And uh, it has been, uh, here you will have shaft which has been inside the hole, therefore this has to have zero deflection so therefore same you are supposed to apply the load which is structural displacement on lines but here you are supposed to select this line so say ok we are supposed to confine the ux direction say ok so after you confine all these uh, loads now you are also supposed to define the inertia that is the angular velocity you are supposed to define so in the same uh, structural instead of displacement you are supposed to apply the inertia to the angular velocity so go for global the given value in your uh, problem is in the y component 
we are supposed to apply a value of 1047.197 okay okay this is the value that we are supposed to apply so once you give the inertial velocity now it is sufficient enough for us to obtain the stresses basically the wood stress and all sort of stresses that you want you can all uh, obtain by solving this particular model so now i am supposed to solve this solve current ls kot the solution is done once you are done with your solution you can give the result general post processor you are supposed to give the contour plot nodal solution you can have x component of the displacement y component of the displacement if you want the uh, displacement but now i am interested in stress so i'll have to give the different components of stress and this is the x component of stress that i have similarly i can choose the z y component of stress i can also go for the z component of stress something like this now uh, this can also be viewed in the 3d dimension as you all know top view where you have circular uh, you have at uh, rotating this with a wheel you can also change uh, partial uh, expansion now you can uh, have a cross section and uh, see make the analysis of how the stresses vary inside angular disk thank you